Hi guys, today's video is going to be another lip swatch video. I have about 14 ColourPop lippy products. I have 9 of their Ultra Matte Lips, which is their liquid lipsticks, and 5 of their Ultra... Nope, this is the just their lippy sticks, which varies in finish. The Ultra Matte Lips only retails for $6 each, which is ultra affordable and the lippy sticks I believe are five bucks each. I want to say that I like the formula of their lippy sticks a little bit better. They're creamier, they're more comfortable to wear, but their ultra matte lips last on lips like it's no joke. It doesn't budge, but it tend to cause a little bit of discomfort because they dry down super matte. I like to use the Smith Minted Rose Balm. It just looks like this. I've used a lot of it. I really like this. It's minty and it kind of smells like rose. I kind of lather on a thick coat of that and then apply this. This still dries down matte, but it does make it a lot more comfortable to wear and you know, you can deal with it a little bit longer. The first color I have here is the color button. This is what the color looks like and this is a satin finish. You can see that they go on very, very creamy and very pigmented. This color has to be one of my favorites just because it's a very like universal pink color. A lot of times when I don't really know what to wear, this is what I would wear on my lips. I really like how the common pencil sticks too, so it like makes it super easy to apply in my opinion. The next shade I have here is called Cookie. This is a matte finish from their Lippy Sticks line. This has to be one of my favorite colors from them ever. It's a nude that doesn't wash me out and it just complements my skin tone so well and it's not too brown, not too peachy, and not too pinky. Perfect nude. Next up we have the shade Skimpy. This is a very, very pale nude. It's actually one of my newer additions and it's in the glossy formula. This one really smells like caramel candy. So as you can see on camera it looks like a really crazy pale nude but in person without these harsh lights it is a little bit more natural than this you can even tone the color a little bit different by applying a darker lip liner underneath and top this off and you will have this finish next up we have the shade brink this is another matte formula and as you can see it's a little bit of a brick red kind of shade so it's a little bit more bold than any of the colors before this is quite an interesting color and it's quite unique. It's not really like anything I have in my collection. Kind of a muted brick red with a little bit of coral mauve-ness to it. Mauve rosiness to it. It's all of those things, honestly, but it's very pretty and it's a matte finish. Lastly, for the lippy sticks, it's my darkest color yet, and this is the color creature. Beautiful. It's colors like this. I really appreciate this being in a lippy stick form. This is in the matte formula. This shade, so stunning. Very, very rich, deep, dark, vampy shade. I really like this. Sorry, the application is kind of horrendous, but I hope you can see in the clip how I applied this, how pigmented and smooth this formula is. It goes on so creamy. Hi guys, today is a different day, obviously, because my makeup is different. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. But I forgot to do a shade oh! that day when I was swatching everything, and it's a lippy stick in the shade Tootsie. This is a matte finish. So let me just quickly show you guys what this one looks like. This is definitely a color that's really on trend right now. It's very mauve and a little bit grayish chocolatey. Very pretty. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Ultra Matte Lips. I'm going to start with my lightest shade. This is in the shade Midi. By the way, the formula of these ultra matte lips aren't moussey. If you've tried any of the moussey textured liquid lipsticks, they're more liquidy. But once they dry, they set. Like I've said, they're super matte once they've set. But when you first apply it, it's very, very liquidy. So this is what midi looks like after it's completely dried. As you can see, it is very, very matte. And it's a very pretty, I would say, 
neutral kind of mauvey rose color it's very very light though i have fairly light skin so on me it looks it doesn't look too washed out but if you have any darker skin that i do i imagine this to be very very nude on you but regardless it's still one of my favorites i think this is very glamorous if you're doing you know a really heavy eye once again and just want a matte pinky lip so again, this is Midi. Oh my god, guys. This micellar water is life. It even removes liquid lipstick. Which, if you know, I mean, they don't remove unless you put an oil on it. This thing is literally magic. It's no oil, no alcohol, no fragrance. And it removes liquid lipstick. What? I mean, look. Crazy stuff. Next up, we have probably one of my most worn colors. This is in the shade Solo. It's a neutral pink color that pulls a little bit warm on my skin tone, in my opinion. I think it's very wearable. It goes with pretty much everything, and it's very pretty. Again, this is in the shade Solo. Next up, we have the shade Donut, which is described as a bright peach on the ColourPop website. They're absolutely right. This is a very neon, peachy, bright coral color. This would be really pretty on a summer day just very bright neon color next up we have the shade clueless which is a dusty mauvey pink shade this is a color that's very on trend right now it's that perfect dusty mauvey color that's you know not too purple but not too pink it's very just like effortless glam i like this one Next up, we have Beeper, which is described as a warm mid-tone taupe color. So as you can see, this color on me is more of a chocolate than like of a true taupe, but I still really like this. One thing I have to say though, this formula in Beeper and some of their newer lippy sticks are a little bit different. They feel almost less liquidy, more creamy, a little bit thicker, but like in a good creamy thick, and they feel a little bit more comfortable. So I feel like in their new batch of colors, ColourPop improved their formula. Because it feels a lot better than like the older ones, some of the other ones I mentioned, which were their first batch of colors. So again, this is the color Beeper. Now we're going to go into some of the brighter colors that I own from them. And the first one I would like to show you guys is the color Ouija. Ouija is described as a bright coral red. So here's the color Ouija. It is a very bright, bright coral red. I really like this color. I feel like it's almost kind of like retro. If you want to do a retro themed makeup look, this would be perfect. Like bold black liner, big lashes, this lip. Next up, we'll do the shade Highball, which is described as a hot red pink. Love this one as well. So vibrant. This one is so pretty too. I just feel like Barbie when I'm wearing this color. When these colors get to like a vibrant pink or like red, it just brings me life. I feel like matte colors should be very, very bright and bold. That's what makes them so pretty and sexy. So I really like this one. Again, this is in the shade Highball. Okay, we're almost there. Two more to go. Second to last, we have the shade Succulent, which is described as an electric neon orange red. This is also, I just love these bright ones. Amazing shade. It is neon, it is electric, it is orange, and it's also red. This one is much more true to orange than Ouija is. Ouija is still a little bit more coral, you know, like neon bright coral orange. This one is straight up orangey red they do have another shade called pacific i believe that's like straight up orange but i didn't I, I, I didn't end up getting that one because i felt like this is probably as orange as i would like to take it okay we have reached the end this last shade is called mars and it's described as a red fuchsia shade i hope you can get a sense of what it really looks like it's really just a stunning color this has to be, yeah, I would say this is one of my favorites. It's so bold, so pretty, very, vi very vibrant. I'm going to see if I can adjust the color after the fact, but just imagine what you're seeing right now, but a little bit more fuchsia. 
so it's not as much of a red as you're seeing but a little bit more pink like a little bit more this color not exactly this color but not this red either okay guys those are all the lip products I have from ColourPop right now so far let me know which one is your favorite I would recommend the lippy sticks before the ultra matte lips however if you are patient with your matte lipsticks and you want to try a really ultra matte lip I would go with them they're only six dollars each and like I said as long as you put a balm underneath it feels rather comfortable to wear I don't have any problems with it there are better formulas out there but none of them are six dollars each you know what I mean that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time bye this is by far way better guys I'm just gonna be honest it's just way better it makes the skin feels nicer too it leaves it less dry feeling and it takes off absolute hi hello there hi how are you good do you have a table for two